Welcome to this video where we are going to see how the mission pad works. The pad you found in the Tello Edu box. In each package of Tello Edu there are four double-sided mission pads. With an identifier and a single ID, a rocket and planets drawn on each side. The rocket represents the forward direction of the x-axis. The ID number can vary from 1 to 8 each for each side and is present on each side of the mission pad. The planets represent different figures that indicate the ID number and coordinates that the Tello can recognize. The drawings of each mission pad and represent the coordinates in 3D with origin in the center of the mission pad, which represents the X and Y plane. At this point we can start preparing our flight mission. For, for example, place four mission pads on a flat, horizontal surface, with the rocket pointing in the direction the drone should go. So, we place the first rocket with the number one, and then we place the number two with the rocket pointing to the left. We are outlining a square with sides of about 1 meter, approximately 100 centimeters. Next, the third pad with the rocket facing us. And again the fourth mission pad with the rocket pointing to the right, or towards mission pad number 1. And here is our square. Now we proceed to place the drone on the first mission pad which will be our landing pad, the takeoff point. Launch the Tello Edu app to schedule our mission. Once the Tello app has started, access the blocks section to proceed with programming. The drone is still off and not connected to the app in order to save battery. As we know, the first operation to do is always to take off, so that the TELOO can better recognize the mission pad underneath it. Then we go up in altitude by at least 50 centimeters. Okay, at this point we need to make the drone recognize the pad and perform, for example, movement operations. Select the category movement. Here we find, go, x, y, z. We can set the distance to travel along the X, Y and Z coordinates. The M box represents the mission pad number. Let's drag this code. For example, enter 90 cm in the X coordinate, 0 cm in the Y coordinate. So, the drone will go forward and as for the height, we enter 1 meter. After recognizing the mission pad number 1, the drone will have to move on the x-axis at a height of 1 meter. Similarly, when it arrives at mission pad number 2, the drone will move to the x-coordinate of 90 centimeters, the y-coordinate of 0 centimeters, and the z-coordinate of 100 centimeters. This is very important because the X coordinate is the one indicated by the mission pad. The drone will move in the direction of the rocket, hence the X coordinate. By 90 centimeters, we will do this same operation for mission pad number 3, 90, 0, 100. And finally, mission pad number 4, 90, 0, 100. Let's check the code we wrote. After recognizing mission pad number 1, the drone O will go to mission pad number 2. The Tello will execute the commands and go to mission pad number 3. It will recognize mission pad number 3, and execute commands to go to mission pad number 4. The Tello will recognize mission pad number 4 and execute the commands. At this point it will return in the direction of mission pad number 1. If the drone fails to recognize a mission pad, it will remain stationary. Connect the drone to the application and we are ready to take off. Ok, the mission has begun. The Tello has taken off. Now the drone will have to climb 50 centimeters. Here it is, 
It's going up 50 centimeters. Now it must recognize mission pad number 1 and move forward 90 centimeters. Next, he must recognize mission pad number 2 and move to the X coordinate of 90 centimeters. Same thing for mission pad number 3 and mission pad number 4. As you see the X coordinate is the direction imparted by the direction of the rocket. Now let's move the mission pads differently. Because I want to leave the same code and only change the direction of the rockets. Thus, mission pad number 3 will point in the same direction as mission pad number 2. Mission pad number 4, on the other hand, will cause the drone to roll back on the x-axis by 90 centimeters. Let's go immediately to start our mission. We touch start and the mission begins. The tello takes off. It is now climbing 50 centimeters. This time the operation was immediately successful. Mission pad number 3. The tello follows the X direction of the rocket, which points towards mission pad number 4. The tello proceeds in the direction of the rocket and, therefore, heads towards mission pad number 3. As you can see, leaving the same code, the drone recognized the mission pad and moved according to the coordinates given by the mission pad. At this point you may enjoy experimenting with different missions with the mission pads. For example, you can change flight speed between mission pads to start with. You will be able to program different operations for the Tello to perform, using the programming blocks. Thanks to the Tello Edu application. It is possible to program the drone in a simple and intuitive way, using a block programming language. You can enjoy experimenting with increasingly complex programmed operations to wow your audience. Thanks for your attention and I'll wait for you at the next block.